Good morning, Miss. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, Miss Lahza. Hello, Miss. Hi, Miss. Look at my little baby sister. Hi, Hi she's sister. cute. She's so cute. I mean, I saw her. I saw her one time when I went to Bella's pool party or whatever. Where's the? What's her Hi, bring out? Hi. Hi. Hi, Miss. The science for grade four, week twenty, Hi. semester two. Bella, your your sister is growing. I'm <laughs> Yeah. Bella, what is your Miss? sister's name? Nina. Okay. Do yeah. I bring out the worksheet? Um, no, we're not going to solve the worksheet. I will explain the lesson, and you <laughs> Miss, have to do the worksheet by yourself. Five. For B, yeah. I will count till five. Nine. At five. Miss you should all be muted. One, two, three, four, Miss. four and a half. At five, you should all be muted. Mute. Okay. Four and a half. This don't mute me, I'll be fine. And five. Ali Basma, please mute. Tala, please mute. Don't Tala mute and me. Bella. Tala and Bella, your brothers and sisters cannot stay with us. Okay? Yellow, we need to start now. Ali Basma, please mute. Mute. Ali Basma, can you hear me? Please mute. Miss. Okay, wait, Yatalia. Okay, thank you, Ibrahim. Thank you. Please don't chat. Don't send anything in the chat. I'm not going to be reading the chat. Did you watch the science video? Yes. Which vertebrates yes. are we? Which vertebrates yes, are we talking about this time? Amphibians. Amphibians. We're talking Amphibians. about amphibians. So I will share with you. Like animals. So um, Miss, I see the animals are classified. Um, no. Can you mute that silence? Hi, Miss. Hi. Uh, please, Miss Mike. I'm Ola Fadl Mighty. Please, can you mute the student? Yes, I'm asking them all to mute themselves. If I didn't say okay. your name, Miss, you cannot unmute yourself, okay? When I ask you, you can unmute yourself and answer, please. Because others cannot hear us when you all unmute yourselves. Dear, please, Rev, mute. Okay. Animals are classified into two large groups, vertebrates and invertebrates, Joel. When do we classify an animal as a vertebrate? Uh, we classify an animal uh, if it if it's vertebrate. Uh, it, if it has a it, if if it has a backbone, that means it's a vertebrate. If Excellent. it doesn't, Excellent. that means it's not a vertebrate. So vertebrates are animals with a backbone. Invertebrates oh, wow. are animals without a backbone. Rev. What are the five classes of vertebrates? Um, reptiles, mammals, yes. the amphibians, fish, and birds. Perfect. So vertebrates are classified into, sorry on this slide, vertebrates are classified into five groups. 
And again, vertebrates are animals with a backbone. The backbone is also ca called a spine or a vertebral column. Vertebral column, spine, and backbone are three words for the same thing. It's the line of bone found in our backs. This is called the backbone, the spine or the vertebral column. Vertebrates are classified into five groups, like I've said, fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Ibrahim, we will start a quick revision about fish. Where do fish live? In water. Fish live in water. Fadl. What do fish use to breathe? Yes, they use their gills to breathe. Thank you. Fish use their gills to breathe. And these are the gills opening. What do fish use to move? Yeah, Ali Burji, please mute yourself now. Abbas, what do fish use to move? To swim underwater? Fins. They use their tail and fin, fin and fin to swim and move underwater. Salma Tiba, what covers the fish body? What covers yes, the fish yes. body? Was this connected scale? Fish yes. are covered with this or connected like this snail. or detached scales. Thank you. Or just Thank you. Salma Abdullah. We say that fish are oviparous animals. Why do we classify them as oviparous animals in Salma? Yes? Because they lay eggs. Perfect. Fish are oviparous animals since they reproduce by laying eggs. Yala ya ghadir. Why do we say that fish are cold-blooded? Fish are cold-blooded animals. Why? Ali Basma will help you with this. This question is for Ali Basma and Ghadir. Why are fish classified as cold-blooded animals? Can you hear me, Ali? Please, please. I know. Ali. Okay, yes, Maya, I'm listening. Why are fish classified okay. as cold blooded animals? Because they they have no the they they have no temperature. Their temperature they have no body temperature. Their body temperature is uh, like the water or the sun or anything that that's near them. The water that they swim in. So they, they don't have one body temperature. They don't have a fixed body temperature yeah. like we do. As a human, me, yeah. Mia, um, Salma, Rev, all of us, we have the same body temperature. All humans have the same body temperature, which is 37 degrees. So we are not cold blooded. People are warm blooded animals. So I will write it right here. People are warm-blooded animals since they have a fixed body temperature of 37 degrees. We all have a temperature of 37 degrees. And for this reason, we say that we are warm-blooded and not cold-blooded. Cold-blooded animals like fish don't have a fixed body temperature yeah. like us. Their body temperature changes, like Mia said, according to the surrounding. It changes with the with the with the environment, with the surrounding. Okay. Today, as you said, we're going to start with a new vertebrates group. So we did this last time. I'm not gonna repeat this. We're going to start with a new vertebrates group, which is 
amphibians do. Frogs, toads, Sicilians, and salamanders are amphibians. This question is for all of you. If you know the answer, free, please raise your hand. Yeah, what is the question? Uh, I leave uh, sometime the... What the question? Well, of I still didn't, I, I still didn't ask. I still didn't ask. Frogs, toads, civilians, and like, salamanders like mute... Mute, frogs, toads, Sicilians, and salamanders belong to the amphibians group. Sicilians look like worms. So why don't we consider them as worms? What is the difference between a Sicilian and a worm? Raise your hand, don't talk. Raise your hand, don't talk, don't send me anything in the chat. Yalaya Abbas. Abbas raised his hand. What's the difference, yeah, Abbas? The main difference between worms and Sicilians. Yes? Who is iPhone? Please write your full name. Yala Yalama. Yalama, what's the difference between Sicilians and worms? They are different uh, in size. Different in size? This is not the main difference, no. Someone else. Abbas, it was your turn. What's the main difference between Sicilians and worms? Because they are shiny don't... and slimy and no. a little bit bigger in size. Talia, don't send. Miss me. Talia. Talia. I'm not Talia. What's the difference Sicil between Sicilians and worms? Sicilian, teacher, I know. Sicilians are... Because Sicilians are vertebrates. Sicilians are vertebrates. Teacher, I know. Worms are invertebrates. Teacher, I know. Mute. One. Mute. One. Two. Three. I was going... Four. And five. The main difference is that Sicilians are vertebrate animals. Worms are invertebrates. So Sicilians have a backbone, but worms do not have a backbone. This is the main and the most important difference between them. Okay? Even if uh, animals have a big size, like let's say jellyfish, uh, octopuses, starfish, they are good in size. They are not small. But since they do not have a backbone, we consider them as invertebrates okay again frogs toads sicilians and salamanders are in amphibians i want you to look at the skin of these amphibians frogs newts and salamanders newts are kinds of salamanders look at their skin and again if you want to answer you need to raise your hand look at the skin of these amphibians how is their skin? Which adjectives can you use to describe the amphibian's skin? Uh, Ibrahim. Rida. How like is this? this? Yes. Oh, yeah. um, it, they have a naked... Uh, Naked, slimy, and moisty skin. Okay, Atalia, but this was Ibrahim's turn. Thank you so much, dear. This is Ibrahim's <laughs> turn. Rida, Rawat, you still didn't give an answer. How is the skin of amphibians? 
The skin of amphibians are shiny and slimy. Bravo, Yarawa. Excellent. Amphibians have a shiny, slimy, and we can use also the word moist. Moist. So the skin of amphibians is moist, is shiny, is slimy. They are naked um, animals since it's like they are not wearing anything. They are not wearing anything. They have no scales, they have no hair. So they have an egg, shiny, slimy, moist skin. Look. Mute. Mute. Frogs lay eggs. This means that frogs are oviparous animals. Frogs lay eggs in water. So frogs are oviparous animals. Out of these eggs, Tadpole hatch. Tadpoles are baby or young frogs. And then tadpoles grow into adult frogs, into big frogs. Tadpoles live in water only. I'm talking now about these. The young frog, the small frogs swimming in water. These animals, or these baby frogs, cannot leave the water. So they need fins to swim and gills to breathe like fish they are still babies so they need fins to swim underwater and they need gills to breathe underwater while adult frogs big frogs they can live in both places in water but also on land and for this reason we call them amphibians amphibians means two lives two lives so amphibians have two lives, one in water and one outside the water. Big amphibians can live in water and on land. They do not have fins anymore. So they lose these fins. And Mahdi, don't write on the screen. They lose their fins and they grow legs. And also they lose their gills and start breathing with their lungs and skin. So if you noticed, tadpoles or baby amphibians are different than adult frogs, than adult amphibians. The small one, the young ones, have fins to swim and gills to breathe. But the big ones, the adult ones, have legs to move and lungs and skin to breathe. Okay, amphibians use their moist skin to breathe since they have small lungs. Their lungs help them to breathe, but not enough. For this reason, they need to use their skin to breathe also. So what do we know now about amphibians? Let's first see some pictures of amphibians. Frogs, this is the blue poison dart frog. Sicilians, salamanders. Toads, salamanders also, or newts. Amphibians have a most slimy, shiny skin. They reproduce by laying eggs, so they are oviparous animals. Amphibians means two lives, tadpoles and adult amphibians. Tadpoles live in water only, while adults live in water and on land. Tadpoles use their gills to breathe, while adult amphibians use their lungs and skin to breathe. Are amphibians cold-blooded or warm-blooded animals? Yala ya Tala. This question is for Tala and Maryam Juni. Are amphibians cold-blooded or warm-blooded animals? Are amphibians warm-blooded or cold-blooded animals? Maria, Tala.
Amphibians are cold-blooded. Good job. Amphibians are cold-blooded animals. Do you know why? Uh, 